picture this hijabis and niqabis on theater stages hear me out the next video you're about to watch was a dream come true an answer to a dua where i asked allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow me to go back to the place i love the stage by the blessings of allah the dua was answered i have one little problem though i might have recorded the entire video instagram way I'm new to vlogging. <laughs> I need to remember to turn my phone to YouTube way, but I still really wanted to put this out anyway because it was just such an incredible experience. The Brothers from 26 for facilitating such an incredible lineup. Naima B. Robert, Anissa Kassoon, Alia Umrayan, Ms. Nina, Nyla Edwards, and of course, yours truly, Khalila Lister, together on a stage impacting hundreds and thousands of incredible Muslim women. You'll see. You'll see what a beautiful, beautiful event. I think the best part of all was just meeting the community and having a space where we could unapologetically talk about what we need to talk about. And yes, I got to say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar! on a theatre stage in the UK. How amazing is that? From London, Birmingham, Bradford, Cardiff and Leicester. Come along with me onto this tour, let's go. So these are for me to pack in my suitcase? Yeah. I love them, I'm gonna this take them with mom. me. Okay. What does yours say, Kays? Mine says, I love you, Mom. See you soon. <laughs> I'll miss you. I'll miss I help, you. Uh, I'll take pictures. Don't of you. worry. And Mom's only gonna be gone for five days. Yeah. So who am I? I am early. <laughs> Anyone that knows me knows I'm not totally early. In the dressing rooms, the stage is very nice. So let's do this, getting ready for the show, inshallah. Yeah, I mean, no, no, like for real. Really? 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 Ten minutes, she's gonna talk for about ten minutes. Ten okay. minutes. Yeah. You ready? I think so. <laughs> Allah ready. Allah Allah chose us to be here and, and being a, a medium for everyone. May, yeah. may, may Allah grant us sincerity and allow us to speak from our hearts, inshallah. Mm -hmm. I'm truly sad to be voiceovering this part because what these ladies are saying is so powerful and incredible, but my team were like, the audio sound is terrible. You can't leave that. I am going to leave a little bit. Believe me, the whole video is not to this sound quality. You can always forward it, but trust me, they're just, they're words. Allahumma barak. <laughs> Just finished. It's an empty arena. It's a visit. 
absolutely amazing thank you to everyone who came i had so much fun it was so beautiful being a muslim woman here that after party how you feeling ladies but full we are on our way to the venue where's naima <laughs> Are you coming? Catch us there. Birmingham. Be there. Birmingham. Sure. Halfway service station. Oh, we yeah. have <laughs> oh, getting stuff ready. Yes. It looks like a deer in the head. So this is where we are staying. Alhamdulillah, this is my room. I'm about to get my coffee on. You better believe <laughs> before we go. Tonight we are in Birmingham. Let's go check out the bathroom. Don't judge me, I'm gonna sort my stuff out now. Yeah! Nice! Girls on tour, mashallah! <laughs> Here we are! Coming day two. in this room the world thinks i would love to hear her speak no and again yet here we are Okay. 
I'm going to tell you straight up and down, fasting all day long. I'd like to invite anybody who's in that situation to try what they tell people out there in the world. Which Learn is to walk along, protect yourself, and implement what these sisters are telling you, inshallah. Our children has the same views of wanting your kids to get to gender. A wonderful man, mashallah, and she would have thought at that time, I will never have better than a Muslim, right? How to, and sorry if this triggers anyone, may Allah give you the strength to listen and inshallah benefit if it is triggering you, inshallah. I mean, how to deal with domestic violence. Not just in terms of the violence that you're on the receiving end of, but the fact that you are a Muslim. And there are certain... The highlight for all of us was definitely the after show, the meet and greet, getting to know all the incredible women that came. MashaAllah. Tower number two just arrived. Okay, let's go into hotel number two. Alhamdulillah. Very nice. Let's check the bathroom. We are in Bradford. So we're here for one night. Chasing this life had opened me up to, you know, a lot of crazy things, right, in the entertainment industry. Also published by Penguin, which was published last Thursday. With the power of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Anissa told me to come on here and talk in a sorry accent, so you have to guess what accent I'm doing. I don't think I'm doing it very well at the moment. Yeah, it's Do you know who I am? That's the question. And if you're in Cardiff, come and say hi. This world, and I felt the suffering of all the boys in God. And I've tried to rise up when I feel low. And I've tried to heal the depths of my soul. My soul. I lay my head down 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 Assalamu alaikum It is quite some weeks after the tour is finished and I'm just reflecting on quite a few things Firstly, how incredible beyond my wildest dreams it was and secondly, I nearly said no i tell you why. When I got the call asking me to be part of this amazing tour, it was at a time where we were literally actually that same weekend doing TEDx. If you know me, you know working for TEDx was a huge part of my life. I was doing it for six months, working in and out with the speakers, getting them ready for the stage. And it was the big day and it was a priority. I also was balancing a launch. There was so much going on. There was just too much going on. And I was like, how am I going to manage 
going on tour up and down the country. And I had to really sit with myself and be like, you know what, this is an opportunity that I have been praying for, that I would not even be able to be okay with missing. Let's be real, okay? It's theater stages, which is what I grew up in. It was talking about Islam. It was centered around Dawa, being around sisters, community. It was just everything that I stand for. And I was like, Khalila, sometimes in life you have to know to say no, okay? Sometimes you have to put boundaries because you can't burn yourself out. But sometimes there are opportunities that are unmissable and this was one of them. And Alhamdulillah, I'm so glad I did it. So glad because actually, I'll tell you the actual truth. People were saying to me, my friends were saying to me, aren't you gonna burn out? Like, how are you gonna manage doing this and you're coming back and doing TEDx and da 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 da? People are forgetting, I've got four kids. I got a break for five days, staying in luxury hotels with breakfast and dinner provided up and down the country with amazing sisters. Firstly, may Allah reward the brothers at 26 beyond what it means to be a Muslim man. Alhamdulillah, may Allah give them the best of this life and the next because there aren't many brothers who get behind women voices and creating a safe space because that's exactly what it was. It was not filmed. The questions were done anonymously. I was not ready for where the questions were gonna go. I'm gonna be very honest. On that panel, I'm probably the newest to this industry and I was very shocked, but you know, it just goes to show we're not sheikhs, we're just sisters, we're just sisters, alhamdulillah, who all have different skills and expertise in different areas coming together to create real conversations. There were really painful topics. There were so many sisters suffering in ways I had no idea. And there were some crazy topics too that I'm not going to talk about on the camera, but they needed to be spoken about. It's not okay to be suffering in silence. And that is why this tour was beyond anything I could have ever hoped for. So if you watched this far, you're a real one. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button. I have lots of amazing videos coming out, most of which inshallah will be filmed the right way. Videos will be dropping every single Sunday, lots of incredible things coming. So hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment. Let me know, would you come to the next tour? What country should we visit? Let us know in the comments and inshallah we'll make it happen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And as always, keep speaking, keep inspiring. Don't be silent.